Today I'm going to show you a simple idea that is going to teach you how to make 10,000 per month without spending any money. This one idea will guarantee that you succeed when you drop ship in South Africa. This is the number one reason why most people fail because they do not understand this one simple idea. And if you get it, it's going to change your life. I'm telling you, you're going to learn how to make 10,000 without spending any money. And I hope you're as excited to learn this as I'm excited to give it to you. And once you know this, I'm telling you guys, it's going to change your life forever. Now let's jump in. Let me show you what I mean by this. So now before I jump in and teach you this thing, guys, there's some few foundational information you need for you to get this. This is you and you're feeling thirsty and you say, I feel like having some Coke, right? You want to buy Coke. Now here's the question. Where would you go to buy Coke? You can go to shop, right? Right. Or you can go to vegan pay, right? Or you can go to Woodworks. I don't know. Or you can go to a convenience store. At a, at a, at a garage, right? At a gas station, right? Or, or you can go to other places. There's so many places we cannot need them all, right? But now think of, think of it this way, guys. Okay, so now you feel thirsty right now and you still want to buy Coke. Okay, what is the most likely place you'd go to? You go to one of the big supermarkets, right? There's, there's a good chance you'd do that. Because most times, if they are not too far from your home, that is. But there's a good chance you go to one of the big supermarkets. And if you are in a car and you're driving by, there's a good chance you might want to pass by a convenience store and grab a pen of Coke. And then the most unlikely place you would go is to the other places. So this is what I'm saying to you guys. That when you look at the people that sell Coke the most, who's selling the most Coke, you will learn that we can break this into two places. Number one is the supermarkets. And number two, we got to the garage. Number two, three, we got maybe let's say other. Seventy percent of the people will buy their coke from the supermarkets, and then twenty percent of the people will buy their coke from the garages or the convenience store, and only ten percent of the people will buy store uh, their coke from other places. So I want to introduce you guys to a concept of a marketplace. A marketplace is a place where people who are looking for a specific product will naturally go to to find that product. So we call that place a marketplace. That means this is a place where you go and you know that people that are looking for product x are most likely to all be going there to looking for the same product a mall it's a marketplace if you want if you have money you want to buy something most likely you'll go to a mall that's why the guys will pay the boss rent because the mall has the ability to attract customers for them and then you put your store inside the mall knowing that there's a lot of people that are going to come into your store because that's where they go if they're looking to buy shoes they're looking to buy clothes they're looking to buy food that's where they go that's a marketplace okay so this is the most important word guys you need to understand it's a word called marketplace because once you understand the concept of marketplace then it's easy for you to sell because you understand that if I want to sell a bottle of Coke, the best place to put my can and to sell it, it's inside a supermarket. Because supermarket has the biggest market share of people that are buying Coke. Most of the people that are buying Coke are most likely to go to supermarkets to look for the Coke. Okay. So now if you are dropshipping a product, you need to understand the dominating marketplace of that product. And you can put your product in there for free and then people will buy it and you sell a lot of it like crazy and that's how you'll be able to make 10,000 rands per month for free without spending any money because all you do is you just take your products and you put it inside the marketplace so now i want to i want to talk to you guys about the biggest marketplaces for people that are buying products online like it's important that you know this it's gonna it's, it's gonna help you become super successful as you start and grow your dropshipping store. So if you would love to learn more about dropshipping the easy way in South Africa, and you would love to learn more about selling on Bid or Buy, please visit www.dropshipeasy.co.za. And in there, you will learn how to dropship the easy way, and you will learn more about how to sell on Bid or Buy. In South Africa, there are two big players, okay, two big marketplaces where, you know, people are most likely to buy online. The biggest one is Take-A-Lot. People will most likely buy on Take-A-Lot. The second one, 
second biggest one is Bido Bai. Okay, so these are the two places that most people will end up going to if they want to buy a product online. Okay, now think of this as the supermarkets of the internet. Okay, so <clears throat> if you can put your product inside here, okay, you know that everybody looking for your product will most likely be here. Can you see? Can, can, can you see the power of that? But now the downside of take a lot is number one, you cannot drop ship in take a lot because they want you to to sell products upfront. The second reason take a lot doesn't work well when you're getting started. It's also that even after they do have what they call lead time orders, where somebody can order a product before you send it to them, then they then they give you five days to send the product to them so they can send it to your customer, and then you still have to wait like. 14 days before they pay you back okay so now that's that doesn't work out well if you don't have any money to pay forward for your products right or to pay too many forward for your products because if you're gonna have to wait 14 days to get your money back that means you are limited and you are limited you are greatly limited on how many products you could sell okay but now the second biggest marketplace it's bid or buy okay now bid or buy has has different rules which makes it easier for us to drop ship okay number one is with bid or buy <coughs> they don't want your products period okay so what happens is your customers typically will come to bid or buy to look for products to buy right and then they will buy from your store okay so what will happen is then the customers will buy from your store right and then you'll be required by bid or buy to go and ship the product to the customer Okay, as soon as the customer has received the, the item and then bid or buy pays you, right? So typically that's that's the business that's that's the business model of bid or buy. Okay. The customer comes to their site, okay, because bid or buy does all the advertising, all the branding, all the money you know, money sucking activities. Okay. And as soon as they get a customer for you, only then would the customer pay pay money and then you can be able to see that you did receive the money and then you'll be required to ship the product to the customer as soon as the customer gets the product you'll then be uh, as soon as the customer gets the product you then can request payout from bid or buy and the next day bid or, bid or buy gives you your money now think about it okay that is that is power right there okay and then since you are a drop shipper okay and you don't want to spend any money on advertising okay you wanna you wanna make money without spending any money so this works out very well for you because then you only pay bid or buy around seven percent of your total order only after they get your customer okay not anytime sooner and what's even nicer is instead of you sh doing all the shipping and the packaging to the client you can then say when the customer orders from you you will then in return order from somebody inside bid or buy as soon as somebody orders inside your store right you will then order from another seller inside bid or buy and then this seller will then package and send the product to your customer right and then as soon as your customer gets the product then you are able to keep the difference as profit okay now because bid or buy pays you the next day you can you can sell a limited amount of products that you don't have but you know that another seller inside bid or buy has them and then you can just pay him for that one product in advance they sell it you get the money back and then you just get this whole thing keep moving round and round and round and round and round and makes you and making you a lot of money this is guys how you are able to sell inside bid or buy without any money without spending any money right and and you can easily make between five thousand ten thousand and beyond a month doing just this one simple thing okay cost you nothing okay cost you nothing to do okay so i hope guys this makes sense and you're excited to learn this and you will go forward and implement this and make yourself some extra money so if you would love to learn more about drop shipping the easy way in south africa and you would love to learn more about selling on bid or buy please visit www.dropshipeasy.co.za and in there you will learn how to drop ship the easy way and you will learn more about how to sell on bid or buy so thank you very much for your time and hopefully we'll talk again in the next video